right, Lord Gok. What information do you have for me today? A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why... Oh yeah, I changed my outfit again because I was getting bored of the one I was wearing before. presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Earthgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. No because surprise there. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. Ugh. Yeah, you should have expected you that. You said this would repair the chasm between the two of you. How did you not expect him to react this way? I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbore oh, Can I just kill him? Journals. Bragbore? An ancestor Wait, of Ranrock's. Renowned Ooh. metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Yes, tell ago, me more. Ranrock sent me to and this time, I do know the Cruciatus curse. They described repositories that Bragbore had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Wait, Bacar, are those the keepers? Wait, the keepers? And Rookwood. Ooh, interesting. That is where we began our search. Why okay, I'll stop Ragnar saying that. Why does so much about these repositories? He cares. He about probably what wants they the contain. power that they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. Yeah, because you're goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Nope. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Amit. <laughs> Who is he going to be? King of the midgets? <laughs> the only Greetings, thing Ranrock's going to be it king of is stupid. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Enough. That was terrible. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I am. Um, well, yes. <laughs> Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I Just imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it. Well, I hope so, otherwise we're just I wasting can, our time. Sir, Lord Gok. Just Lord Gok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. Understandable. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. Well, God, and I'm the bright to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is mm. not be seen. Either by the eye above the enchanted door, or a loitering loyalist. An eye, you say? Tell what me else more. What should we know about the enchanted door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. Okay, so we're probably going to have to use uh, magic, disillusionment. shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. Nope. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. Right, let's do this. I shall see you soon. See you in a minute, Lord Gok. Come on in. Come on in, sunshine. Oh, co oh, come on, dude. We're in a hurry here. Oh, okay, I think I see what he means. Okay, disillusion. Yes, of course. Now you the see us? The door is looking at us. I can't see, can't see anything. I'm guessing we're going to have to fight the arse ton of goblins in here, which means it's time for some goblin genocide. <laughs> Ranrock's going to have no goblins left at this rate. Oop, we got a I cannot fire believe thing. I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at Agreed. This Incendiary impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. Right, let's go down. Whee! Oh my god, look at my character, she's evil. Oh, I've read about Accio mines like this, but seeing one is something else altogether. Accio. Well, when we when I'm done, you yeah, will take you on a tour. Oh, 
Hamid, you'll need to stay close to me. I've dealt with worse enemies than these. Ah, oh, here we go. Hey, Army, let the fun begin. Die! Ah, you look up a gun. Gonna pay for that. Die! Is that it? I'll get us through here safely, Armit. You have my word. Yes, you have. Every, you have my word, Armit. I'll get you. I'll guide you through this, safe and sound. You just have to put up with seeing a dozen goblins get killed. We're being watched by a door. I'll be quiet. All right, I'm guessing we gotta go through the door. Ooh, it's like it's like a safe. It's like, what are they Venom. doing here? Oh, we've got another one of these. Confringo! Fringo! Well, Confringo. I always used to think it was Fring it was just Fringo. Revelia. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. No, I think that's on the other side. Well, it's telling me to go this way, so Let's oh. take a look around, Armit. See if we can find any plans. I see some goblins on the map. Bound to be plans around here somewhere. A schematic. They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Curious. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. Oh, of course not. Busted my ass to get these plans. Hmm. Okay, let's go upstairs. Ooh, ooh, oh, okay, there's goblins up there. I can see them. <laughs> Best. Good. Well, there's only three of them. I'm sure I don't need to crucio any of them. What's up, dude? Wash. Oh, proving yourself useful there, buddy. Yeah, nice job. Nice job, dude. I don't need to protect you. You can protect yourself. Oh, we got something here. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? Well, they must Whatever. be building something interesting. Uh, okay, do we need to go? I think we need to go back downstairs. Come on, army, catch up. Okay, I see a goblin over there. Rebellion. Not as many as I thought there would be, though. I thought there'd be more. I thought it'd be like 50 of the buggers. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? What do you I mean? I will they... get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. Well, you better. Dragged you out here for a reason. Right. Ooh, oh, oh, there's loads of them. Bash! Take hey, Commander into the ground. Haha, <laughs> die, goblins, die. Alright. Oosh. And die. Oh, my god, there's another one. Bombarda. Oh, 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 there's like loads of them. Crucio! To our right. I won't rest. Won't rest until what? Stay close. I've handled much worse. Well, we have handled much worse. Confringo, this is more complex than I had expected. Revelia. Right. Where are we? Ooh, hang on. Rebellion. Okay, maybe that's to go over here? Oh, oh, it's supposed to go this way. Nice. I know people will probably be in the comments section and be like, Dude, you're missing loads of loot. I'm just following the... I can always loot this place off camera. 
Hmm. Okay, there's quite a few goblins here. Oh, that was a good one. Stupefy! Nope, Hogwarts doesn't teach me crap. Oh, oh! Die, die, die! And you can die. Oh, sorry, dude, I think I almost killed him. Oh wow, there's loads of the fuckers. No, I know exactly who I'm dealing with. Good for nothing goblins. Ah, ah, damn it. <laughs> Wrong button. Oh, yeah? Not anymore. That should be the last of them I'll meet. Well, I hope that'll be the last of them. Hmm. That looks like a left. Oh, is it? Oh, we got one of these doors. Hang on. You'll see. Well, you talk too much, so I doubt that. <laughs> like this up. Oh, we got a chest. Ah, this is what we need. This is oh, good. what is that? They're building enormous drills. Bigger than this mine could contain. Oh, it's a drill. Let's get out of here and tell Lord Gok what we found. Interesting. Right, we just need to get out of here now. And I bet we'll probably get ambushed. There must be a quicker way out of oh, here than retracing there, our maybe? steps. Okay, maybe, okay, now maybe we'll use the left. Ooh, there is a left. Come on, sunshine. Oh, oh, we gotta speak to Amit. Can we please talk about what just happened? Yep, yeah, go ahead. That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. I don't think he's for the uh, adventurer type. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lord Cock. Understood. I'll leave you to it. Thank you, kind Your sir. Your secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. And I'm sure it Without will do well. Without further ado, at you. Uh, uh, bless you. Alright, Lord Gok. I got some beautiful evidence for you. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort Ooh. of improvised research site. One of the uh, keepers, maybe? She was... Studying something so intense. No, it can't be. She almost didn't notice. That was me. ages ago. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead, she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. Ooh, interesting. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Oh, that's but yes. Figgy's wife. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research. Oh, and interesting. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of 
goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, no, I let her study the, look the of container you. if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Where is this story leading Ranrock up to us, dude? was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe oh. it. But Wait, Ranrock killed Miriam? After that, something shifted mm. in me. Best not to tell Figgy. We don't want him running I off after this guy on his own. The power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock. Transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gog, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals. But the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. It's not good. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. Look at the eyes on this guy. The location of They're that as black as my heart. I fear we shall be destined for a great war. Huh. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Well, simple solution, and in it, dude. Watch for my owl. We need to kill Ranrock. All the other goblin. Yeah, this danger weapon. The other guy. Yeah, sheep. Sheep. Easily stopped if we strike the shepherd. So I think we need to eliminate Ranrock and forget about all his uh, loyalists. Professor Fitz. I believe my next broom upgrade to be even more impressive than the last. Come by Spin Witches as soon as you can. Not what I wanted to hear, buddy. Oh, wait, we gotta go to the map chamber. Okie dokie, we shall do that. So what quests do we actually have left? So we got that uh, flying dude guy. Oh yeah, we also got this, so we need to talk to Poppy again. Which I'll probably do... Might actually do this session, since we rescued the dragon earlier. And then we did the log gok bit. But I kind of want to do this trial, this uh, headmistress trial first. But I think this is going to be the third trial, so I'll probably save that for the Welcome next session. Back. Sup, dude? Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Most troubling are these indeed. Repositories Miss like the broken Cheryl. container I found at Rookwood Castle. They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's going to be at Hogwarts, isn't it? It's Hogwarts. I mean, one of them had As to be at Hogwarts, know, surely. I was headmistress in my time. It's always my Hogwarts. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. Oh dear. I had hoped that when the time oh, came, a the occupant loafer of that Professor Black ain't gonna let us in his office, is he? Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. I know he's pretty worse You'll than Dumbledore. You need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Although, as a headmaster, well. Dumbledore wasn't that bad. We'll find he's pretty. He's okay. He's a pretty good. good. Dude. He was just, I shall just meet you in my off, portrait there. You know, without until then. being a um, headmaster. Right, so we got the Headmistress Speaks quest now. But again, I'm, that's probably going to... How gain access to the Headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. That's probably going to lead to the next trial, so I won't do that this session. And we will talk to our sweetheart and our lookalike Poppy. <laughs> Sup, Poppy? Oh, oh, good, you're safe. Of course I'm safe. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? 
Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we'd cost them everything. Ah, oh, bless her little souls. Bless her little souls. We cost them a lot of fortune. I'm sorry, Poppy. <laughs> I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do oh, you come mean? on. Your grand may be old, but she's not a creature. She's handed. So they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. Oh, my mistake. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Snidget, you say? Why do poachers care about Snidgets? Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden Snidgets' feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. If the Makes poachers sense. found some now, I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. I mean, let's face it, since, since the dawn of man, we've been hunting things to extinction because of their value. Dodos, well, you, you name a creature that's gone extinct since humans have been on this earth, and humans have probably had something to do with it. You name me one creature in a comment section down below that went extinct, while humans have been around, so don't say dinosaurs. Yeah, you want to find I this creature, don't you? I you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it. But I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us. Who value well, that shouldn't be too hard. Merlin's beard. You're a genius. The centaurs, they'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Interesting. Actually, you know what's funny? When I was playing off camera, I did see like a little interaction between the centaurs and a bunch of poachers and they were like fighting each other. <laughs> Quite fun. I just sat back and watched and then like hit the poachers when I, with cheap shots. Yeah, let's Sounds talk to them. we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. Oh, don't say we have to wait. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Oh, I hate it when these characters do this. That was an easy quest. Terrible. I hate it when the characters do this. So they, oh yeah, we'll let you know on a decision instead of actually just doing it. Terrible. Right, we still haven't received an owl yet. So, yeah, I'm probably going to have to end the session here on the basis of I want to do the next quest in the next session. So, yeah. Till next time. Ta-ta! Oh, hang on. Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me near Hogsmeade and we will devise a plan. Okay, let's talk to her and see what I'm happens. ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle. That Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Oh, Dibbles! Right. Diablo Ceratops! I you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And mm. as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village Just watch out for Peeves the Perv. What sort of information am I trying to gather from these people? Hey, they I'm good at getting information. Mr. Bickle had against Harlow, or they may have evidence of their own. We simply need to know whatever they know. Fair enough. And if they don't give me information, I got Imperio and Crucio. Very well. I'll speak with them. See what Here's I Imperio. Learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken. You mean with how they're being threatened with leverage? Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. And if they don't give me the information I want, I got Crucio and Imperio. Here's Crucio, and here's Imperio. <laughs> right. I mean, according to this, it says he's here. Okay, maybe they're upstairs, upstairs. Ah! Oh, Isco, what have I done? What's up, dude? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. 
I'm a friend of the Bickles, and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker you look for white as a ghost. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Hmm. We need to get as much information as possible. Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound silly, but those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. Hmm. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Ah, leave the old leverage trick. Get the upper hand on someone to get ask someone to do something for you. Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, well, isn't that clever? I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Look, this guy is this guy's a murderer. He's probably dead. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Ah, don't worry. Freaking Harlow's after me already. Okay, Mrs. Rabe, we do hope you will reconsider helping us with our banking needs. We've given you ample time to reach a decision on your own, but we are beginning to lose our patience. We know your husband would appreciate it if you were to see the value in our working together. Shall we expect a response by the week's end? Best to keep this between us. If you understand our meaning. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Mm. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Don't worry, I'll Mr. get your husband. other two friends. I'll get your husband out. If you offer this, Harlow will regret crossing me. Yes. And then when I'm done with him, Run Rock and Rookwood will be next. At Gladrags. I should check there. Yeah, please tell me you didn't take it, but perhaps it's been here all along. What's up, dude? Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir, I would like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Hmm. All right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. Hey, you're I giving me Mr. information. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you-know-who came into the shop. I had the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't Ooh. told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly, in an instant. He took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. 
I've been able to cover for his request until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Hmm. What have you been doing to keep the extortion a secret? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Of course, none of this bodes well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and be worthy of Rosie. Could you give me a bit more detail about the note that might help me to identify it should I come across it? It's on Rosie's special pink stationery. It has her monogram at the top, R.H. That's how Mr. Hill would know it was real. Well, thank, thank you, you for, for talking to me, me sir. I'm gathering oh, evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Where was I? <laughs> Rotten in Azkaban. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. He's gonna, he gonna end up a lot worse than Rotten in Azkaban when I'm done with him. Right, let's see what information we can get Hello out of this there. guy. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. You should have spoken if you out. If had spoken out against him as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But... <sighs> Perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, Poor I had sod. the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry, with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. What, do you have a basilisk? I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. Do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. <laughs> Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find Natty. Oh, almost fell off the bridge. I don't like this. this Natty feels... must be around here somewhere. I don't know. I feel like sh I feel like she's gonna get kidnapped, <laughs> or she's she's uh turned into a gazelle because she's an animagus. Yeah, we. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I found we found that off. I found that off out off camera. I didn't include it in because it's literally just a conversation. Or maybe I did. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But yeah, she's an animagus. And apparently it's an interesting ritual to go through to become an animagus. And what the beast you transform into is, is like not like yours. You can't decide. So after all that, all the work you got to do to be an animagus in the first place. And you don't even get a choice of what animal to become. Makes me wonder though, if, if, she, if she did a, a Patronus charm, would it take the shape of a... Wait, what? Oh, it's a wand. Oh, that's not good. But anyway, as I say... If she had a patro if would her Patronus charm be a gazelle? That he's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Revelio will show me where she was taken. Uh oh. This isn't good. Revelio. Oh, so we gotta track her down. 
Hey, with my BFF, hand her over right now or suffer the consequences of the Cruciatus Nosy curse. little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> Oh, really now? Oh! <laughs> he just walked through the wall! <laughs> oh, damn it. If I was able to... Tell me where my friend Nappy is right now, or I'll cast Crucio on your moustache. Join your dinner? Mind if I have a... Ooh, what we got there? We've got a corn on the cob. We've got a sausage! Wait, do we need to... Enter the cellar? Where's the cellar? Wait, they lock her in a cellar? Oh, it's a hideout. Ooh. Might be more to this quest than I uh, anticipated. Prince led to this room. Uh oh. There must be another way forward. Oh, this is gonna we're gonna have to fight someone bigger it looks of it. Oh, I didn't push it back enough. I mean, pull it forward enough. The hidden door. Hmm. Oh, we got optional quests. Okay, we'll Actually do the. Must have uh... been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. We're probably going to have to fight some poachers, by the looks of it. <laughs> good for cr good, good time to play with cru the Cruciatus Curse. Oh God, there's loads of them. To be sure, I'm not seen. Hmm. I mean, I kind of just want to. Oh wow, there's loads of them. Hey, you kill my. You do anything to my BFF. <laughs> oh, I'm coming. I'm coming for you all. You're all gonna die. Hmm. Might need the Imperious Curse because there's quite a lot of them. Gwendolyn. Hmm. See if we can Imperius this guy. Oh, he's the boss, so we want to Crucio him. Oh, there's someone coming. Right, we're going to have to fight. Fuck it. Die! Like no chump. Why is that just so big? You're going to regret that. No, I don't think I will regret anything. Dispatched. Rebellion. Right, now you can lose in peace. No one, no one crosses, not crosses my friends and gets away with it. I'd rob my own father if there were galleons in it. Not my mother, mind. Ooh. Okay. Book of poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. Oh, I'm gonna loot this place and destroy the poaching community. <laughs> yes, yes, and I'll get away with it as well. Bones, if there's a few galleons in it for me. Oh, there's two of them. Break a shield charm with an ancient magic throw. Keep loot then. We should speak to her again. She tell us where we can find our friend. Die. Expulsion! Crucio! Payback time! Fagin the Mercy won't save you now, pal. 
Hmm, maybe it's... Oh, hang on. No, we need this. Gimme, gimme. Woo! Now, I have some pretty good gear, so... I doubt it'll be better than what I have. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, it's that letter from the other dude. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. Okay. Right, now we can go find Natty. Revelia. Wait. East Coast Rape? Oh, well, I found Natty. What's up, dude? Mr. Rabe, Daisy told me you'd been abducted. She spoke with my wife. And I'm yet to see you. she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed. And there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. We'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly, and we cannot risk detection. Oh, why are you going to be I so difficult? Do my best. Any idea where it might be? Uh, all right, I'll find your wand. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. But can't do it. Hmm. Oh, hang on. Maybe we need the light there. Wait, what was that then? Oh, is that it? Mr. Abe's wand could be in there. Hello, Hamora. Mr. Abe's wand. Oh, that was You'll easy. be glad to have this back. Right, use your stinking Mr. wand. Abe, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Ooh, I would have washed that wand if I were you. The only way I could get it out was up my. Oh, you did it. Well done, dude. Hey, don't just wander off. Oh, oh, he's going to free Natty. Hey, Natty. Natty Fatty. Is that a game, Natty? Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friends. See a chump. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. And they will. Well, most of them have paid. But there's going to be more of them. Now, we learned the lesson here, Natty, didn't we? Don't run off after poachers on your own. Leave that to me. Because I'm the smart one. And I'm the one with the ancient magic voodoo nurse. Not you. Me. Well, come on. Chop, chop. Oh, Harlow's going to be so pissed when he finds out that I killed everyone here. <laughs> Maybe he'll have the balls to face me. But I doubt it. Of course, I don't blame him. If I had to face me, I'd be terrified. All the hairs on my body would be standing up like a cactus. Oh, we've got to speak Nuts to Officer Cinder. I, I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank Damn you. right. The two of you are safe. Hey, I'm more of an aura than you are. Look like at all the poachers and goblins I've killed. Right, let's see what you have to Isco say. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. No, is it was Mr. just Rabe me. All right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer... Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashwinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle <laughs> the Ashwinders. Authorities can't do crap. I've been doing all the work. Yeah, the useless. With the authorities have done nothing. Officer, the authorities I've been doing done it all. Much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. I must insist that you leave them to us. We shall have no further discussion on this. Ugh, fine. You really want to stop side, me, love? You may wish to speak with your mother Fight about me. this before I do. Put up your My dukes. mother will not like this. 
Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. Right, so uh, now for the quest. I think that should be it. Hey, we did it. Oh, we got a reward. I oh. think I know how and where to approach the centaurs about protecting the Snidgets. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest. Ooh, lovely. Anything else? The Ashwinders have ceased pestering me. I suspect that's your doing. Thank you from me and Rosie both. We're just leaving for our honeymoon after we tell Mr. Hill of our recent marriage. Wish me luck. Oh, that's good to know. Glad I get out. Right. Yeah, we're ending the session, so till next time, ta-ta!